Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it has only been a few minutes since I filmed my previous video. Um, if you watched my box of charm one you will know that I am babysitting and I babysit part time but then when I'm not babysitting I am doing physical therapy and appointments. So my videos may go out like this, like I'll video record in advance. I may hold some back and then pop them out in different days, stuff like that. Um, anyhow, I wanted to get these out today because it's been a while and um, I finally got my box charm, so watch that video if you haven't already. But I put the vote out on the five palettes that you wanted to see at the top two. And the top two was Natasha Denona. Well, the number one one was Natasha Denona. Number two was the Tarte. Be a Mermaid Make Waves. So I did a full swatch tutorial and review on these and as you will know I absolutely love them both. I don't regret either one of the purchases. If you have the money go to Beautylish, do the three month payment plan if you have to, if you really really want this. If not, pass. There are dupes probably for every single one. If I find some, I will let you know. But this color right here, I want to swatch right now because I think I have a dupe definitely in mind for this and possibly for this one. You can hear that move around a little bit because they're supposed to pop out in the back. Okay, I already know that the weight is less because of the ingredients. I, I looked it up. Um, so I'm going to swatch these and we're going to remember this is Natasha Denona right here look at that BAM okay um, so yes you're getting the same amount of product it's just that she changed around the ingredients which in some ways hurt her because some of the, some of the reviews people aren't liking it as well as her past palettes as for me I haven't used it enough to say it's not as good, but my first impression is it is not as pigmented as her past palettes, but I still absolutely adore it. I will be keeping this, and if you want to see any more um, tutorials on it, I would be glad to. That was the top number one pick out of the five. I'm going to run down all five of them. The Tarte B and Mermaid Make Waves. I mean, just look at that. Really, that is so beautiful and it feels kind of like, um, I can't think of the word. <laughs> I want to say scaly, but it's not. It's just, you know, engraved. It's, it's beautiful. You open it and you get this gorgeous seashell. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then, Tarte is so known for, for one, their packaging, for two, the smell. It's just so lovely. It's so light. It's like cocoa that you bake with. And hello, people. Look at the shadows. So here we go again with the blues. I feel like we're in a blue uh, slash green and yellow season. Um, I'm seeing a lot of those. This is so worth it. If you saw my video, I did a full tutorial, full review, watch it. I love the palette. I thought, oh my gosh, this could be so all about packaging because, you know, some things are so cute, but then they're not very pigmented, not that great. This is super worth it. Love that palette. Great pick. Okay. Um, I'd have to say what one came in number three was the Urban Decay Back Talk. Okay. Now... I do have the Urban Decay, um, I just looked at my drawer, the ones with the contour and stuff that flip and they are plastic, they are different from this. Um, it's in my other room, but it is smaller a little bit and it is plastic and this is cardboard, it's raised right here, it says back talk. I have face palette. Okay, what intrigued me with this is that when you open it, you've got your, whoa, your um, highlighters and blushes. Then you have a mirror here, right here. And then the mirror, you can stand in the middle, which makes the palette 
like that, okay? Or you can take it out as magnetic. So I'm going to take it out for now. And then here are the eyeshadows. And so you get two, four, six, eight eyeshadows. And look at the rose colors. They're gorgeous, right? Beautiful. And Urban Decay, I mean, they're usually like so phenomenal. So I want to swatch them for you guys. So we have three sheets, bare, and curve. I'm going to swatch them the same. I'm going to be all swatched up today. So they're really light shades. And then we're going to go into the deeper ones, which the infamous Back Talk shade. And we'll do Attitude. That one for me was really um, eye catching. The other ones are kind of just there, but look at that. They're beautiful. Okay, so then we have two left. And that is WTF and 180. I'll put them right here. So that is all of those. Then I'm going to swatch the blushes and the highlighters. And you can use them as blush toppers, you can use them as eyeshadows, whatever you want. We have Cheap Shot, Double Take, and Low Key. Beautiful. And then we have one left, Party Foul. Right here. They are soft. Okay, so that is the whole palette, if you can see it, hopefully. Okay, so I used it, and I don't like it. Okay, for one, I don't like the way it folds out like this. It takes up um, almost double the room as a kind of normal palette for me. I don't know, it just, it for me was awkward. And then with the mirror in the middle, I even hated it more. Like, I wish they would have done what they did with the contour. Um, I wish I would have brought that out here. With the contour, it just flips. And there's a mirror and you can do your contour on one side and then you flip the other one and you got your highlight and it all stays together the mirror doesn't come out like this they they just it should have been attached all together but this is just awkward and then if you take the mirror out it won't shut all the way it's just it won't so you put the mirror back in and you got to make sure it's just so so you make sure it's shut it's magnetic but this this isn't magnetic so it just sits there. It's just flimsy. Look at that. I don't like it. As for the performances of the... the, the hello. It's Friday, yeah. Okay. The eyeshadows. I had issues with the eyeshadows. They all just kind of blended in together. And I kept having to build up the pigment and build up the pigment. And go back in and go back in and build it up and build it up. I'm like... What the hell, it, I would like blend it out, you know, after I built it up and then it would just poof, disappear. I'm like, what the, this shit's gone. And I have the problem a lot with these two right here, Shade and Attitude, the two uh, most pigmented looking ones. And I was just, I kept blending it, you know, and then it would just be gone. I'm like, fuck me. Okay, is it like a magic trick? So the highlighters and the blushes are beautiful, but this is going back. I'm sorry. And then another thing is there is really no um, kind of a end shade like a black. They put in this 180 and that shade is probably one of the worst in the palette. When you blend it, it just fucking disappears. It's like, it's like a vanishing act. Um, so if you wanted this palette and you can't get it, don't feel bad because you're not missing much. Another thing is, I could probably go shop my stash, which I should be doing, um, and find a bazillion rose gold tones just like this. I'm sorry, but I think Urban Decay really made a big mistake. This mirror sucks. It sucks. The only thing you use it for is like this. And like, I have my handheld mirror and I have a mirror. In fact, I want to show you guys. It was super cool. 
So I'm sorry, but this is a look at that. It doesn't even shut. I mean, hello. You know, they should have had a clip or it should be magnetized. I'm sorry. This is going back. So the number three palette that ranked in my votes is a no-go. Urban Decay Back Talk is going back. Okay, then we're going to go to number four, which is this one. It is the Kat Von D times Divine eyeshadow palette. It has eight times 1.7 grams. So there are eight shades, 1.7 grams. It has the shades on the back. Packaging is super cool. That is what I am wearing today. If you did not guess that already, here's a little mirror with little eyebrows, and then here's the colors. I'm going to swatch. We're going to be really swatched up today, guys. So I like it because they have the name of the colors on the back. So I got Babs, Hard Magic, Baltimore. Make sure they match up. Nope, they're opposite. Huh. So that was Hairspray, Female Trouble, and Pink Flamingo. I'm going to put these right here. Okay. Now we're going to go into um, Filthy Waters and Baltimore. The, I saw, I'm sorry, I, the back doesn't match the front. It's like opposite. And those are those three. We have two more, Hard Magic and Babs. So on the back they're reversed. So here we go with these two. There you go. Okay, so I used this today in between baby feedings and diaper changes, um, which I do enjoy. I love my grandkids. Um, my opinion on this is, again, we're going green, we're going blue. That is why I swatch that blue, that blue and that blue over here, because I think these two from the Natasha and this is so this is Kat Von D that's Natasha this is Kat Von D and that's Natasha well, that's a much lighter blue okay anyways I just I'm seeing a lot of the same colors come out a lot of blue green and yellow I do like the palette I did not have to wet my brush except I want a more of a pop from the green pink flamingo on my lid and I did wet my brush a couple times and it did make it pop this blue right here Baltimore under my eye is freaking amazing but I could probably get that from Natasha Denona um, so this will be a go back because I just there is nothing in here that is so unique I love the packaging though that I need to keep it. I love the silver, but again, it is, I believe, $38. I believe this was $36. Don't quote me. Um, they're all at Sephora. This is kind of on the edge of go back, keep. How about you guys leave it in the comment section below? Go back or keep. I am trying. To declutter and really be kind of picky and choosy but I had to try these palettes so this is kind of on the fence I'm gonna go by your comments below last but not least I think maybe one person voted on this this is a metalist high shine bouncy cream shadow palette okay is by touch and soul which if you know who they are they have the Liquid to glitter lipsticks and the eyeshadow. One end is liquid and the other end is glitter. And you apply the liquid and the glitter. Both they have eye and lip. I do not like the lip. It clumps up. I have some of the eye and the minis. The little mini ones. And uh, I like the ones from Christmas. I did not like the spring colored ones. Um, this caught my eye because if you look... They, they are just like so highly pigmented looking. And then when you swatch like this, they're like 
really wet. They feel like a shock shadow almost from um, ColourPop, but they almost feel like a wet paint. So I'm going to swatch them on this arm. So there's only six shades and they are 11 ounces, 3 grams. So then we're going to move on to this one right here. They look gorgeous. So I'll get to the whole thing. My thoughts. Okay. And one more left. I don't want to mix any color in there. Mind you, I've tried all these out. So, okay. So I know why this got like no boats. It maybe got one. Um, it's just shit. It is pure, complete crap. Um, I have no regret on taking it back. Um, these are so sheer. If you can see on the swatches, and you, I tried using a brush. You cannot use a flipping brush in these. So you gotta use your fingers. Okay, I, for one, I hate a fucking palette when you have to use your finger. I want an option if I want to use a brush, because what if you want to get like a tiny bit in the crease, or when you get to the corner of your eye, and I tried using these, and they ended up down here, and then it was just, it, I don't like it. I, this is the least palette I would recommend to anyone. This is going to be like, on sale real soon. I'm sorry. They do have shade names, by the way. This is suede, French, right here, snow, mystic tonight, and they're probably the opposite, sangria rose and maple wood, probably the opposite. Anyways, I, I really don't need to say any more about this palette, except I think it was like $42, or I could be wrong, I could be asked backwards, it could have been the one for 36 but this is absolute go back. I have no um, issues taking this back along with the Urban Decay back talk. I'm disappointed in Urban Decay. This was just a miss. Absolute. 100%. Don't waste your money on it. It's crap. Um, the top two were definitely the top two for a reason. This, again, I'm kind of on the fence. Yay or nay. Let me know in your comments. I also got the studded lip kiss that goes with it. I will swatch it. It is very creamy. I am wearing it. It is perfect color to go with that palette because that palette is so bold that, um, you know, you want to wear something kind of neutral that is so creamy and buttery. I love it. The only thing I don't like about Kat Von D's lipsticks is for one, um, Sometimes it's hard to get them apart, and then when you get them apart, sometimes, like, it'll be my purse, and it'll come apart on its own. I don't know why, but I think maybe she fixed that, because I stopped buying the lipsticks because they were coming apart in my purse and go bad. But if this feels a little bit stronger. So, on that note, these are definitely the top two palettes right now, in my opinion. Um, alongside a bazillion other releases like the little mini Pat McGrath palettes which I have I will do a full tutorial I have the green one already um, today I am wearing the Metal Crush highlight palette by Kat Von D which I have had it is stunning if you do not like glitter though do not buy this because this is all about the glitter it's so glittery it's, you could see the glitter just coming off. So I, what I do is I put a little on my brush and then I spritz it and then I put it along. I have it all along here. It's all over my face. You know me. Loving my glitter. I'm wearing the Kat Von D Stata Lip Gloss. I am wearing the Makeup Forever Lowering Skin Tint with SPF 25. Love it. One of my favorites. I am trying the Brow... Last by Physicians Formula, double-ended brush. I'm on the fence. It comes out a little clumpy, uh, a little bit much. Yeah, I, I probably won't recommend that over the tattoo, the brow tattoo one. So I wanted to share one more thing with you guys. Oh, here's a touch and soul. I'm in my tool cart. 
This is the ones I was telling you about that are really good during Christmas. I got the minis. So you have your the liquid part that you apply and then the glitter on the top that you put on after. Now these are good. The only thing is they you know I don't know how long they last. That's why I have the minis. Um, but they should have stuck with liquid because their their palette right here is just no good. It's anyways, we all have a hit and miss, I guess, you know? Okay, so video will be long enough. This is super cool. I thought I got this from Bed Bath Beyond because I was buying a new pressure cooker. I'm sorry, I got like a hair itching my nose. Um, I was, my old pressure cooker went out, so I was buying a new pressure cooker, and while I was there, I saw this. I have been wanting a mirror. I have the, I think it's called the Kiki mirror, and it lights up, it's plugged in, and all that good shit. But I want something that I can hold, like, up to me, light, lightweight, while I'm doing my makeup. Okay, and have it lit up so I can really see the color payoff I'm getting. So check this out. This is super cool. It is folded. Okay, I just use it today for the first time and watch it comes up and then up. And then you turn it on. I was like, oh hell yeah. The, it's got a ring light around it. I'm like, oh yeah, this, this is super cool, okay. And then it has a compartment here, you know, you could put like your little eyeshadow or whatever. I mean, you can't fit a whole hell of a lot, but I just want to be able to hold it and do my makeup with it lit up, see? And then that way I get more of a light shining on my face. I can see more clearly what I'm doing because my Kiki mirror is kind of set back a little bit. This is perfect. $19.99 and I had a $5 coupon. Then it folds it down. Bam. The only problem is this one has some scratches. But I looked online and they're unavailable. So they must be popular. I'll keep this one and when they get another one in stock, I'll take it back. And get the, the new one. But it's right here. It folds up. It takes four AA batteries. It is a 10 times magnification. Double sided mirror. LED lights on front and back. Extends the... 13 inches high and it folds flat for easy travel and storage this has got to be like one of my number one things I bought and it is an as seen on TV product and they come up with some of the greatest stuff like that uh, that little shaver thing I showed you guys a while back so that is it. That is the five palettes. I wanted to go over them with you before I do a return. And plus, it's been a while, so I want to move forward with my Pat McGrath palettes. I have the Color Pop. Uh, I won't buy their shock shadows because I don't use them. I just give them away. Uh, the little pigments. I got those. So they came in today, and I would like to um, do a full tutorial. I bought the whole pack where you get one of each color. So uh, let me know if you'd like to see that. Um, anyway, so I wanted to get this done so I can move forward because there's just so much. I'd like to get to my you know personal video, but in between babysitting and appointments, it may be a little while. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, again, and again, and again. Please don't hit me up in any private way to give you my giveaway because it's just not going to happen that way, okay? I don't want to hear a long sob story because we have our own and I already filmed and said this in my boxy charm. I'm going to repeat it. Uh, we all have our own sob story. I didn't just magically end up here with my makeup, okay? I fought my own battles and I fight a lot of them to this day, okay? I am not gonna just take somebody's word in a private messenger and just say, oh, okay, yeah, sure, I'm gonna give you all my stuff. So, I don't mind you leaving comments below. I don't mind discussing things with people. I have a lot of people on Instagram I talk to, and it is great, it's freaking amazing. I like to, you know, communicate, 
But I don't like to be hit up and just say, hey, hey, you think you could just give me everything in the giveaway, you know, privately? No, it's not going to happen. Okay. Uh, I am trying, I, I am fair on my channel. Okay. I am not going to pick somebody that is pleading with me. Um, I like to be completely fair. I like to give back when I can. And I hope you guys know that. And I truly appreciate all my subscribers. We're going to hit 500 soon, I hope, because I've been adding to that 500 giveaway now. we got to get there. Um, so I will post pictures of what I have built up for that later. I want to get through the declutter. Um, anyways, you guys are great, okay? You're amazing. Thank you for watching. Comment below on what products you'd like to see me do a full tutorial on. Um, you know, just let me know what you think about the the highlight or highlight the eyeshadow palettes I showed you today. Let me know if you're gonna pick any of them up. Let me know what ones you were really, really interested in. If you have a question on it, hit me up and I will try to answer everyone's question. If I don't get to your question, it doesn't mean it's because I don't want to answer it. I either haven't seen it because it was on like a previous video or I'm like super busy or I'm burning myself. Um, you know, I mean, just, you know, we all know shit happens. It's not intentional. Trust me. Okay. Um, anyways. Let me know any of the palettes you're going to pick up and maybe what you were interested in. And again, questions. I don't mind. You guys have a great weekend. I will try to film this weekend. If not, I will see you next week. And thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. If it doesn't work, I don't know what to say. I don't know. I'm sorry. Just turn it on. And I... Uh, Hit me up on Instagram, Susan Young, 1974. Leave your comment below, all our added entries. Um, and I will see you soon.